Mike Purser here, and today we are going to have a look at the Perseverance Boat Speed Rigging and Technique Analysis Sheet. This analysis sheet provides a variety of information for coaches and athletes to better understand the relationship between rowing technique and boat speed. At the top of the page is the integrated boat speed and rowing technique graph. Below that, crew, video file, and speed curve reference information. The graph analysis data section, rigging analysis section, and finally at the bottom, technique analysis based on speed curve section. Integrated boat speed and rowing technique graph is developed from video to connect speed and technique. The blue line on the graph shows the speed of the boat as it varies throughout the stroke. Vertical colored lines represent technique points for the time and position of the athlete's oar. The graph also shows the average boat speed with a horizontal red dashed line. And a legend is provided in the top right corner as a reference for the lines on the graph. This graph can also be provided with an acceleration curve, which is the green line shown here. Acceleration is referenced on the right side y-axis of the graph. Zero acceleration, or constant speed, is shown by a horizontal green dashed line at the 0, 0.00 value on the axis. When acceleration curve is below the zero value line, the boat is slowing. Above the zero line, the boat is accelerating. This line should not be confused with speed. Acceleration is the rate of change in speed, and sometimes a good tool for coaches to analyze boat movement. Just below the graph is the information section that provides details on the crew, boat class, when and where the video was taken, and the video file name for reference. If the video is taken during a race, the finish time, GMS percentage, and average split appear on the right side in this section. Below the information section is the graph analysis data. To the right in this section, the rowing technique positions along with the video reference time and related boat speed. The split speed and average speed of the analyzed stroke are listed along with the GMS split time and the boat speed percentage of GMS. Boat movement is measured and broken down to show drive distance both before and after the oar is perpendicular as well as the distance the boat moves on the recovery. In the lower right corner of this section is the minimum and maximum boat speeds along with their related video reference time. This section is the analysis of acceleration of each part of the stroke listed. To explain this section, we will review the curve section catch to finish. Here we can see in the lower left graphic the time and speed difference for this part of the stroke. The lower middle graphic shows the calculated acceleration from catch to finish. And finally, the efficiency is calculated by dividing the volume under the speed curve, blue hatched area, by the volume in the area under the lineal acceleration line, the red triangle. Efficiency provides insight to the actual boat movement during the, each part of the stroke. Under graph analysis, the rigging analysis section is divided into three parts. The analysis calculations for drive time, blade slip, stroke position, stroke time, stroke rate, stroke ratio, and an approximate or catch angle are shown in this area. Detailed information about these measurements can be found on my YouTube rigging efficiency videos. The middle section is an area for comments and recommendations related to rigging adjustments. And on the far right is a section that contains dimensions related to rigging load and areas of comfort for rigging setup. This sheet is the technique analysis based on speed curve section. This area contains data based on time, acceleration, or efficiency percentage of the key movements related to technique and speed. 
Catch efficiency is the time in hundredth of a second between when the athlete is at full reach and when the blade is fully buried. Drive acceleration is calculate boat acceleration from catch to finish. Acceleration efficiency is the percentage of curved volume previously discussed, the blue hatched area compared to the volume of the straight line acceleration shown as the red triangle. Perpendicular to finish acceleration is the acceleration of the boat between the point the oar reaches perpendicular and when the oar reaches the finish of the stroke. Release efficiency is the time in hundreds of seconds between the finish, typically when the blade is square and further sternward, and when the blade is feathered. Recover acceleration is the boat acceleration between the finish and when the boat reaches peak speed. Recovery efficiency is the percentage of total recovery curve volume above a horizontal line of boat speed achieved at the finish. Recovery peak speed is the percentage of recovery time that the boat achieves peak speed. Deceleration is the negative acceleration of the boat between peak speed and the following catch. Finally, the sheet provides an area for comments and recommendations for rowing technique improvements based on the boat speed curve related to opportunities to improve performance. This has been a look at the Perseverance Boat Speed Rigging and Technique Analysis Sheet. Stay tuned for more videos discussing boat speed curves related to rowing technique. If you thought this video was useful, please like it below and visit my Rowing Perseverance Facebook page for more coaching development tips.